I'm Father Alex Steinmiller, a Passionist. I'm grateful to Mater Del Rosa Retreat Center for your generosity in considering our school. Holy Family Christore High School is a school that believes that a youngster can break out of the cycle of poverty. The cycle of poverty is basically where a person is born in a poor neighborhood, raised in a poor family, goes to a poor school with poor resources, they get a poor job with a poor salary, and they live in a poor neighborhood. We break that cycle of poverty by enabling young people to see an horizon, a future, a possibility that they would never conceive of before. And that's the gift that Holy Family Christa Ray High School provides our young people. My name is Elias George. I'm a junior at the Holy Family Christa Ray Catholic High School. I work at Barfield Over in Shank. My name is Shawana Pope. I'm at Holy Family. I am a sophomore and my job is in the front office at Holy Family. My name is Murray Rogers. I am a senior at Holy Family High School. I work at Bradsville and Gore. My name is Whitney Brooks. I am a junior at Holy Family Christo Ray Catholic High School. I work at Welcome Materials in the AR Building Services Department. We are so proud of our students because we know from where they come. Uh, Ensley in Western Birmingham has become a very depressed area over the past 30 years with no urban renewal. Uh, the steel companies moved out back in the 70s and left behind kind of a brokenness of families, of a social fabric. So what does Christa Ray High School do for these students? What it does is establish in them a sense of great worth. Every one of our faculty members takes special time with them to help them in their studies. And to help them apply their studies, every youngster has a corporate job once a week in corporate Birmingham. These youngsters actually work an entry-level job whereby they earn a salary that covers 70% of their tuition. Their experience in corporate Birmingham enhances them and gives them a challenge to want to apply themselves to their studies because they want now what they see, and that is a great career. At Vulcan, I file papers, I create spreadsheets, um, I basically assist the secretaries in anything that they need me to help them with. Firmly does a lot of 401k plans when they cancel them out. They send the paperwork to where I work at. So I help them do their job. I fax. I make copies. I run around the school for you know my supervisor. I I pretty much do the mail and run it around all day long. And a lot of the students were amazed at the fact that they were actually going to get off the bus and meet their employers. A lot of them had never been downtown before and just imagining all the buildings they had seen all their lives just as they passed through on the interstate, they were actually going to be able to go into these buildings and work as everyday adults. Uh, we have some students that have never experienced this before. When the 14-year-olds go in, they are just amazed that they are, they, first of all, they have a desk, they have a computer, and they are able to go out and go to lunch. Some places allow the students to go eat lunch like an adult, everyday adult. So a lot of them will get to know their supervisor intimately just on the fact of, you know, what are you doing, how did you get your degree, what college did you go to, well, I'm interested in that college, so that way. It, it opens up a lot of doors. So they see the importance of education by seeing what their supervisors actually did and, and what, how did they get to that high level. Of, a lot of them work with high level executives. So they want to they know what did you do? <laughs> how did you get there? As of right now, I want to attend Auburn University or I would want to attend Jacksonville State University. My major would be accounting. Probably Miles of Birmingham Southern. The parents don't want me to go too far away, so pretty much I want to stay somewhere not too far away, but not too close. When I leave Holy Family, I am going to college. I've been looking at Auburn University and University of Alabama. Well, I think the school has a nurturing spirit to it. You know, you have kids who really want to uh, be, uh, be a member of the student body, and of course, the teachers really want to be here and that you, you have to work on the total, total child, not just the brains part, but there's a, an, an entire human being that you have to work with. And I think the things that we're doing 
help to get them prepared for that point in their life where they'll be entering into adulthood and into somebody's college somewhere. I like Holy Family because it gives me an opportunity to explore the world outside of what I already know. I like the way I like the way the teachers teach at Holy Family. Holy Family. Um, I like the people here. We have a wonderful gift in St. Paul the Cross, our founder. Uh, he shows us what power comes from the cross. And the power that comes from the cross is a hope specifically for the poor and those who have lost hope. Holy Family Christa Ray High School, the Passionists in Ensley, are a beacon of hope in this area. And this beacon of hope actually shines not only in the hearts of our students, but also their families. So just know that your generosity and your contribution to our school touches the lives of our youngsters, but also reaches back into the families with the pride of what their child is able to do. And so with that spirit, I want to acknowledge again my gratitude to Mater de la Rosa Retreat Center and all the retreatants who are willing to invest the passionist charism in this mission. A mission that hopefully will carry for years to come so the tradition of the passionists will continue for another 70 years in this area through Holy Family Christa Ray High School. Thank you.